What's up, math scholars? This will be a short video today. We have to talk about number 10 and 11 on the study guide because we have our first quiz tomorrow. Who's excited about the first quiz? <laughs> woo! That was like a woo sound, but no clapping. Let's try again. Who's excited for the first quiz? <laughs> woo! It'll be fun. It's worth 32 points, and that would be product. All right, number 10. Let's find the vertex of this parabola and then determine whether it's a minimum or maximum. This is a trick for sure. What's a trick? Of, what's tricky about this? Yeah? Yeah, Amelia? It is out of order. So I'm going to rewrite this in order, and I want you to do that with me. This is a negative 2x squared. That should definitely be going first because that's going to be your a value, negative 2. The negative 8x is in the correct position. It's in the middle position. And then that positive 7 is last. So now it's in order, as Amelia said, it's also called standard form. So we're now in standard form. We've got an A value of negative 2. We've got a B value of negative 8. And we have a C value of 7. We don't actually need our um, C value to do the vertex in standard form. Just a reminder, your formulas will stay up tomorrow. So we're in standard form right now. Negative B over 2A x equals negative b over 2a. That's going to help me get the x coordinate of my vertex. All right, so negative b, that's a little difficult because it's going to be a negative, negative 8. So that will turn positive. 2 times a will be 2 times negative 2. So just be careful, we have three negative signs we're dealing with. I'm going to have a positive 8 on the top, a negative 4 on the bottom, and so that's a negative 2. We just got ourselves the first half of our vertex. And how are we going to get the other half of our vertex? Plug it in. Plug it in, and you can plug it in to this one I wrote in my hand writing, or you can plug it back in the original. It doesn't matter, they're the same. I'll just go back to the original. Um, y equals 7 minus 8 times negative 2. We're putting negative 2 in everywhere we find an x. Minus 2 times negative 2 squared. Let's calculate out what that would be. All right, we just found that y value to be 15, and we have one more part to answer. It says, is this vertex going to be a minimum or maximum? Let's vote. Who thinks it's going to be a minimum? Who thinks it's going to be a maximum? That is correct. This number is out front is a negative, which means my parabola is going to be opening towards the ground. And anytime your parabola opens towards the ground, it looks like a mountain peak. So that is a maximum. Okay, max. All right, then our last one. A puncher kicked a punt that was in the air for a distance of 41 yards. The path of the football can be modeled by y equals negative 0.035x squared plus 1.4x plus 1. So that's standard form, right? Where x is the distance in yards and y is the height of the football. Does the ball ever reach a height of 12 yards? All right, so x is the distance. Y is the height in yards. So, how do you guys want to do this? There's a lot of options. All right, I kind of paused the video and discussed our options, and I think I saw people nodding their heads when I mentioned the option of, let's find the vertex. Since this is an upside-down parabola, that vertex would, be, would give us what that maximum height would be. And if that maximum height um, would be over 12, then we would answer yes, the ball would reach the height of 12. So it's just going to be another vertex formula since we are in standard form, negative b over 2a. Our a value is negative 0.035. Our b value is 1.4. We don't need the c value, but it is 1 if you are dotting that down. All good so far? Don't want to go too fast. All right, so negative b will be a negative 1.4 over 2 times a, so 2 times negative 
Right. If you're going to type it all in at once, you remove front see that stuff. That's what I'm doing. I got 20, just not if you matched me. 20. Now that's the x coordinate of the vertex. That's not truly the height. That's the, um, that's the horizontal. Yeah, that's the horizontal. So we need the vertical. So we're going to take that 20 and plug it back in the original equation. So it'll be y equals negative 0 0.035 20 squared plus 1.4 times 20 plus 1. All right, we plugged it back in, calculated it all up, got 15. That means that maximum height is 15 feet above the ground. So yes, this ball would reach a height of 12 yards. Um, I would just say yes, because it actually reaches a height of 15 yards. Okay. Is that as far as explain my answer? Yes. It can reach 15 yards. So thanks for watching the video and um, hope to see you at a study party.